Hello and welcome back. Now we will look at Protostar from Exploit Exercises and Protostar introduces into the following in a friendly way. Uh, it's network programming, byte order, um, handling in sockets, stack and heap overflows and format strings. We um, will start with stack level 0 but first we are going to download the virtual machine. On the downloads you can find the um, the two machines they provide. This is Protestar. You can download from the Google Drive. So I already downloaded it. There you can see it. And I already downloaded it. And um, I set I set up a virtual box. Quit this virtual machine first. So I set up a virtual box. It's an Ubuntu system, 32-bit. Um, since we don't want to use the virtual machine um, to solve the levels, um, we have to set up networking for our virtual machine. Um, we will connect to the virtual box through SSH from our host computer using um, our terminal. Um, you set it up in a uh, virtual box from Oracle like um, like this. You go to network adapter 1, attach to NAT, uh, click on advanced, click on port forwarding and set up a new um, for port forwarding rule. The name is SSH, the protocol we use is TCP, the host port is um, 3022 and the guest port is 22. We save it and we start the virtual machine. Um, to have the max um, max writes on the server um, or on the virtual machine we log in as root. They are they, they provide the root uh, credentials on their website. We can see those here. For debugging for the final levels, you can log it as root with the password god mode. So we're going to do this root god mode. Now we um, started the virtual machine. You can connect to the virtual machine using SSH now from your terminal SSH user add. So user is the other credentials we can use. Um, once the virtual machine is booted, you can you are able to log in as the user account with the password user without the quotes. So let's do this on localhost point one and with the port we set up thirty twenty two. Ah uh, now I have to um, clean up my known hosts, you might get the problem too. So I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to win. But I will switch on another um, monitor. Uh, what I do now is I'm going to lead, uh, uh, to delete the, the um, settings for the for 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 the local host. Now we are able to connect to the virtual machine. We say yes. And now we are um, connected to the virtual machine. So let's log in as root first, uh, as user first. So user, uh, user is the password. Oh shit, I tapped the two times. User is the password. And now we are in the. Um, virtual machine and we are locked in. As you can see this looks a bit odd because we only have the dollar sign here a dollar sign here and we are not able to perform any tabs. Um, so how to how do we change this? We change this simply by switching to bin bash. Currently they use bin sh and now we have our um, our known um, look for the virtual machine. So the the levels are in CD opt 
um, Protostar and Bin. So you can see all the lovers here and we will start with stack 01. Uh, stack 0. Stack 0 um, waits here for an input so we can provide something and it always and ask try again all the time. So let's check out the source code first. So to provide the source code in the stack 0c, um, it starts with the main, it um, initializes an um, a integer uh, variable called modified, a buffer which is 64 bytes, um, it sets the modified value to 0, it gets the buffer, so it's the user input we just saw, and it checks if the uh, modified variable is not 0, and prints out you've changed the modified variable and then we won. Um, since we um, since they they set modified to zero and we just provide here something, they ask us to try again all the time because we um, go to the uh, else part here. So how to to solve this level? So um, our goal is to print out you've changed the modified variable, but how do we do this? You can see that they initialize buffer with uh, 64 bytes. Afterwards, they initialize uh, or that they they set modified to zero, and they get the the um, buffer with the function gets. Let's check what gets does gets. F gets uh, reads the next character from stream and returns it as unsigned character uh, cast in an int or EOF. So there is a interesting section in um, man too. It's the bug section. You can see never use gets. <laughs> That's pretty funny uh, because it's impossible to tell without knowing the data in advance to uh, how many characters gets will read. Okay, that's interesting. So we can maybe provide more um, uh, or a lot because um, uh, the variables here uh, get saved on the stack and the stack always grows downwards. So it starts at the top and grows downwards. So um, in it first sets the variable uh, or initialize modified then sets a buffer with the 64 bytes, then modified gets um, get initialized and um, gets the buffer or gets we read user input. So um, the buffer is 64 bytes big. Um, if we provide more than 64 bytes, we should be able to write in the stack to the next um, to the next address. So um, the buffer has 64 bytes and we write for example um, 65 bytes we should be able to change this value so let's try this out um, so we will run stack 0 and now we want to provide um, let's say we want to provide 5 A's or, or let's provide um, 20 A's so I will use Python for this because I don't want to type out 28. I will print a 20 times. There we have a 20 times. So now it, it, it should um, say try again. We are right. So let's try it with 60. So it still should show, uh, oops, sorry, that's not right. So it sh still should um, show try again. We are right again. So let's try 63. Oops. It still should show a try again. Yes, we are right. Now let's add one A. So we are at the end of the buffer. So it's um, 64. It should try, uh, it should show try again, again, because we don't overwrite it. We are right. So now if we add one more, so one more a, we should overwrite. Um, so 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 we should write um, over the buffer, so over 64 bytes, and write into the next variable which is modified. And we change modified value to 41 because 
um, A is uh, hex encoded 41. So it should be hex um, A, I think, 2. Is this right? No. Um, let's check it first. Uh, A python hex to a string to hex. String to hex. This is something I always forget how to do this. Um, this is not right. String to hex value. So add this int dead beef sixteen. Is it like this? But this is wrong. A string into int. No, we want a string into the a hex value. Oh, int, int, to int. Right. Oh, let's let's check it out. Fine. I'm pretty retarded right now. So let's go to um, hex value for a. So let's check our ASCII table. So, um, doo -doo -doo. so where is the a so there we see it the capital a is 41 that's the nine it's the 42 i'm retarded sorry my bad so um we don't. Uh, we won't look at modified memory afterwards. We will just solve this level. So there you can see we modified. Um, oops. We modified the modify variable um, because we changed it from zero to something else to forty one or forty two, whatever, and we jumped here. So we have successfully done um, Provistar level zero, and I hope you oops I hope you will join me for Provistar level one in the next video.